the end of minimalism is coming. The minimalism hit was in 2017, when it suddenly became a trend against the extreme consumerism in today's society. And since then, minimalist aesthetic is everywhere, especially in interior design. But now, it's over. Many specialists and influencers are announcing the end of minimalism. A new style or trend is always related with a change in society. The high level of consumerism, the awareness of the global warming and the excess of waste, the financial recession and the pandemic, all of these factors made people think about the purpose of a consumerist life and they start adopting a minimalist lifestyle, focus on what is essential and what truly brings us happiness. So minimalism became a trend that so many people start following in order to achieve a life with less stuff, less stress and more purpose. The interior design followed this trend and we suddenly saw a lot of minimalist furniture, Scandinavian style, Japanese minimalism and a neutral color palette in every home store. And like all trends, minimalism became saturated. Every trend has a cycle and usually after a minimalist trend, people start reacting against that extreme simplicity and return to maximalist styles. If we go back in time, we will see this trend in the architecture styles. Always after a minimalist or a more rational approach comes a new maximalist and emotional design. So, if minimalism is over, what comes next? If you just appreciate the minimalist aesthetic because it's trendy, you may feel a lack of personality and purpose. The thing is, minimalism is not just an aesthetic, it's a philosophy, and it's not for everyone. It's okay to not identify with minimalism. That is why in 2023 we will see new interior design trends coming, that will give you space and freedom to add color, to add different items that tell a story, and match different personalities. One example is the new eclectic and maximalism style. This includes mixing traditional, classic and Victorian furniture with interesting architecture features and some modern pieces. The color palette for this trend includes dark and jewel colors like dark brown, green, violet, blue, along with floral and geometric patterns to create a dramatic and moody style. The idea is to express emotions and tell a story according to your own personality and have fun. Not silence and peace as in minimalism, but diversity and excitement. But for those who really enjoy minimalism and identify with it, I believe they will keep the vibe, not as a trend, but as an intentional lifestyle. Once you teach your mind to not fall into consumerism and you finally find peace and joy in having a simple and meaningful life, it is hard to go back. In terms of interior design, I don't see extreme minimalism going far, but the organic and naturalist minimalism is becoming stronger, because it is all about sustainability, comfort and harmony with nature. The more people become aware of toxic consumerism and pollution, the more they will search for sustainable ways of living. And one way to increase comfort and quality of life is to bring nature into your space. Surround yourself with natural materials and colors, cozy textures, plants and recycled items. Whatever style you go for in 2023, minimalism, maximalism, mid-century, boho, japandi, art deco, Danish pastel, postmodern, Victorian, do it with a purpose recycle and reuse the most you can. Be creative. Be you. If you like this topic, I have more videos about minimalism, so feel free to check out my channel and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.